Hi everybody, it's Paul and Tom, uh, the blokes from Stoke. Hope you're all well. And it's been a little while since we've caught up with you and uh, we hope you've all had a great Christmas and New Year. Now, a lot of you have been asking what we're up to over the coming weeks and months, what our travel plans are. So we thought we'd just jump on and give you a little bit of an update so that you can see what uh, we're about to get excited for. So um, February is going to be the first trip. And uh, what's happening in February, Tom? Um, we're going on a cruise. We're going to the Caribbean for the very first time. Um, I want a cruise as part of being a travel agent, so we're headed to the Caribbean. Where are we going? Uh, well, we've got um, how many nights on the ship? Is it five nights? Five nights on the ship, and we are sailing from Miami, and we're going to head down into the Bahamas uh, to Nassau, and then we're going to go to Half Moon Key. Yeah, I think so. Which I think yeah. is I think is Carnival's um, private island. I think. Uh, with a beach and then we're heading to Grand Turk never been to any of these places so we're really really excited so uh, and then back to Miami so that's over five days but before we go on the cruise um, we've decided to treat ourselves a little bit we've got um, a couple of nights where are we gonna stay yeah so we're gonna be staying um, for a couple of nights in Miami itself so on the 18th we go down to London Heathrow we're staying at the uh, Double Tree by Hilton yep. on Bath Road um, near Terminal 2 and then we've got um, just economy classic return flights with Virgin for this trip because it's something um, that Tom won um, as part of his travel agency we didn't want to make it massively expensive so we've um, got just standard um, economy classic but um, to be fair to... we haven't flown for yeah this will be the first time two in two years yeah and we flown. missed virgin atlantic um so first opportunity when the flights came up we uh we jumped at them when they were the right price so we're flying virgin atlantic london heathrow direct to miami on the dreamliner yep. which is uh, quite exciting because we've not been on a Virgin Atlantic Dreamliner. And um, we've got uh, two nights in Miami and we're staying at the, oh, I need to remember where this is. We're staying at the Gabriel, um, which is a Miami South Beach and it's part of um, Hilton's Curio collection. So we're, we'll pop a few photographs of that in for you so that you can see where we're going. Um, we booked, I think, just a standard double room for those two nights. We might get a cheeky upgrade, who knows? Tour depends how nice Hilton are to us. And um, we're just going to spend um, a day in Miami exploring, maybe yeah. having a little bit of time on the beach. Miami, South Beach, we're going to explore. We're not actually going to be in downtown Miami because uh, we don't have enough time this trip because we're heading off on the cruise. But we're going to soak up some rays on Miami, South Beach because the hotel is just straight across from uh, the beach on Ocean Drive. So... It's a beautiful white, you'll have seen it in the pictures that we put in, beautiful white and blue Art Deco style building. Um, looks beautiful, can't wait, really excited for that. Yeah, we're looking forward to Oh, I think I'm going to have to go and get my, uh, my bodybuilding done to match all those boys on the beach, I think. Might take a bit longer <laughs> than uh, a couple of weeks. <laughs> Oof, there's a sight for you. Um, so yeah, we're, we're really looking forward to that. Not done a carnival cruise before, so... We're, um, we're sailing on um, Carnival Sunrise. sunrise. Yeah. Uh, so we're sailing on the Carnival Sunrise, um, five nights. Again, we've been watching the videos, we've been watching people's vlogs. Never never sailed with Carnival before, so it'll be good. Yeah. I'm really and, looking forward to it. And we did, um, we have upgraded the cabin, haven't yes, we, as we well? Have, so yeah. um, you won um, just a standard inside, inside room, didn't you? So mm -hmm. we've upgraded to a room which has actually got um, a sea terrace as well. So just to give it, you know, a, a bit more of a... A different feel for the week yeah. so that's what's happening in february so we're really looking forward to that um march yeah. is going to be a quiet month for us because we've got stuff happening with the house we're going to get the garden done in march and then april How oh however oh oh however we have actually got something going on in march what we're going to tata tata show lakes oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah in lincoln because one of my friends owns um a lodge um I about that. yeah <laughs> That, that's booked as well so i booked that and we're going for a little weekend to a, a static caravan or a lodge um with a hot tub and we're going to take the dog with us um he's currently sleeping outside i thought he'd be jumping all over us at this point <laughs> um so we're going to head to a little lodge for a couple of week, uh, a couple of nights i'm um, over in lincoln and we'll vlog that as well yeah, so yeah. keep an eye out for that 
Yeah, because that'd be great. That's something we we've not really done before, no, is it? That no. So, so that'll be uh, that'll be a nice little weekend. So we have got something in yeah. March. I forgot about that. I'm just thinking about you know the garden and you know getting me getting me Charlie Dimmock on. Yeah. You know there were no bra under this top. <laughs> um, and then in April, um, well, this is a long time coming because we are finally finally booked to go back to Orlando. Orlando! So we can't wait. Uh, this is the holiday that we should have had yes. last August. Uh, for those of you that have been following us on the socials, you know that we had a bit of a painful time in the summer last year. Was it on? Was it off? Was it on? Was it off? And uh, because of all of the restrictions and um, everything that was happening with COVID, we decided to postpone it until this year. So the countdown to Florida, again, is well and truly on for um, for this Orlando trip. Uh, we're so desperate to get back to the parks. Uh, we are going to be staying uh, this time at the Double Tree at the entrance to Universal. Yes. Uh, we've walked past this a few times, but we've not actually stayed there. So we're going to try something a little bit different. Uh, we are flying on the 9th of April and we come back on the 22nd. So we've got 13 nights yeah. there. Um, it's the only thing that we could work out properly for, for both of our schedules. And we've got return upper class for this trip. Oh no, come on. What? Bigger upper bit. All right, we've got upper class for we've this trip. Class. Uh, we managed to get upper class flights at an absolute steal um, last year, two years ago. Yeah. Uh, in 2020 and we used our points and we've rescheduled three times four times yeah. i think um and we rescheduled so that we can keep and thank you virgin atlantic because you have honored um the fact that even though we bought yeah. them with points on a sale you have honored it and we are traveling upper class so we're going to vlog <laughs> the whole experience um i get terrible terrible jet lag on the way back from um the states last a couple of days mm -hmm. so the fact that i've got a bed on the way back is going to be absolutely amazing because we're straight back into work when we get back so yeah. we're going to vlog the whole experience going through the upper class wing at heathrow um yeah can't wait yeah the last time we've only ever flown upper class once haven't we yeah. that was um on the trip home from the year that we got engaged oh, yeah. um in in florida which was 2016 16. wasn't it um so we, we've only ever done that once and we did it at a very last minute at the airport just to kind of finish off um that holiday because it was a really special holiday um so we've not done it for for a long time and um what we did was we um looked at buying points in the virgin sale didn't yep. we so when when they do their points offers um sometimes it's actually better for you to buy a whole load of virgin points and then put them towards a rewards flight yep. so um we we got this um return upper class trip it worked out at about just over a thousand pound each was it so it was a thousand pounds each and that was the taxes and fees and the cost of the points um because we already had 20,000 or yeah, 30,000 points already. in our uh, in our accounts first of all because of pre uh, previous flights that we've taken uh, and the flights cost us 57,000 points yeah. each plus a thousand pounds so really we've we've managed to get return upper class um flights direct to Orlando for a thousand pounds yeah. return each, which is Shouldn't super. You can't beat that, can you? Yeah, that's, um, that's cool. A bed on the way out and a bed on the way back. Absolute bliss and yeah. luxury. Can't wait. And um, just for those of you who are all part of the Virgin Atlantic Flying Club, um, if you've signed up to um, an app called Virgin Red, mm -hmm. that is a, a great site to use to help accumulate more points. Yeah. Um, so we're signed up to, to that. You can get an app on your phone. You can link your um, Virgin flying club number to it and then anytime you um want to order stuff online yeah. from certain retailers it will automatically generate extra points it yeah. takes sometimes up to about 45 days to be added to your account but you know for things like um you can go shop disney um lego i think selfridges argos and it all adds up yeah uh, we also convert our um A tesco, tesco club yeah. card points we convert them into virgin atlantic flying yeah. uh, points so that it it just all adds up and then it means that you can just use it for upgrades while you're at the airport yeah. or you can book flights um, way in advance with them. 
Um, yeah, so yeah. And, yeah, and even um, train tickets as well. Yeah. Um, so they even give you the option to book um, train tickets through the app where you learn points. So a little bit like the old Virgin Trains way. Um, I think it's called Virgin Trains Ticketing now. So you can still buy tickets through them um, and everything comes to your phone on your device. You don't need to, you can print them off at the station or you can use them on your phone. So if you are a commuter or if it is that you uh, travel a lot by train and you want to earn some miles as well, then uh, some points, that's another great way well, of you'll it. probably know yeah. this but yeah uh, just those, in case just for in those case. that don't yeah a little bit of advice about how we get our points. Yeah. So we're looking forward to um, Florida. There's things yeah. that we haven't done for a, oh, um, yeah. a while. We're desperate to get back to um, the um, Rise of the Resistance um, and Galaxy's Edge. Yep. We are desperate to get on the Velocicoaster, aren't oh, we, yes. as well? Looking forward to that. Yeah, can't wait. And the other thing that we've not done yet is um, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. So, uh, Hollywood Studios is now going to be a, a really, really and full there's, day, I think. there's Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. Yeah, at Epcot as at well. Epcot, yeah. which we haven't been on. We've done the one in Paris, but we haven't done the one in Epcot yet, because it wasn't open the last time we were there. Um, we haven't done um, the rides at Icon Park on International Ooh, Drive. Oh, you're braver than me if you think of um, that. So, <laughs> there's absolutely loads, and... Um, Iron Gwazi opens at oh, yeah. uh, Bush Gardens yeah. in March, I think. So that's another roller coaster that we're going to have a chance to go on. And hopefully Icebreaker at SeaWorld will be yes, ready. Of course. So yeah. there's absolutely tons of stuff that we've not done yet. Yeah. Um, can't wait. Um, it's going to be so yeah, action We're, we're really excited. excited, aren't we? It's so action packed. Yeah. And this is what people say why do you keep going back to Florida? Why do you keep going back to Orlando? You know, Every time we go, there's always something we've not done. So there's there's loads going on. Um, and then uh, we'll just kind of, you know, get back, get back into, um, you know, work for a bit. And then we've just got another week planned in May. Just. So well, just, just another week. Um, and we're actually going to be going back to one of our favourite um, holiday destinations to just yes. chill out and relax. And uh, we've got a week booked in Turkey from the 28th of May to the 4th of June. And we're going back to um, a resort um, called Overchik, which is somewhere that we we go to an awful lot. Yeah. Um, if you're familiar with Turkey, it's um, between a, a town called Fethiye and um, Olu Deniz as well, which is the, where the Blue Lagoon is. You'll see it on all of the maps of Turkey. In Hisarunu, which... Yeah. Which does look a bit like Blackpool in the sun, um, yeah. and not everybody's taste, but we absolutely love the fact that there's a Turkish city, traditional Turkish city, a beach resort, and a lively resort, all within 10 minutes of each other. Um, Paul's family um, have had property there for quite a bit, so we like going back there um, and catching up with some friends, because yeah. we have some friends over there and we like catching up with them and just... Yeah. Just chilling out for a week in the in the sunshine. So that's going to be a very chilled holiday compared yeah. to the others. That will be very, very different. Yeah. It'll be much more relaxed. It'll be lazy days around the pool that will um much more subdued. And, you know, possibly a few late nights having a little drink. But um, we are staying in a, a, a private detached villa as well. It's a villa um, called Villa Sunrise. And um, this is a place that we've stayed at once before. Yeah. Uh, there is, I think, a Facebook page for this if you want to check it out. And we'll pop a few photographs in as well um, here, just so you can have a little look. But um, it's it's a beautiful private villa on a complex of, of four villas all together. And um, it's really close to everything. Uh, it's literally just a couple of minutes off a main road where you've got access to, to the, all of the bus services. Uh, it's got its own pool. And um, how many does it sleep? It sleeps six. Yeah. It sleeps six, but there's only going to be the two of us there. Yeah. Um, this is a holiday that actually has been rearranged. Yes, it is. Yeah. Two times, I think, um, because we had booked this villa two years ago and then we rescheduled thinking that the the whole issue around the world was going to be over with. And then um, we had it all cancelled again. Yeah. So this is actually third time lucky we're going to get back to Turkey because we, we have missed going to Turkey. But yeah, there's, there's lots and lots um, planned. 
yeah, there's loads going on. So um, watch this space. Um, for those of you that have already um, followed us on our YouTube channel, then thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, we hit over 200 subscribers um, a couple of weeks ago. So thanks to every single one of you yeah, that's um, you. joining us on our adventures. Um, if it is that you are new to our channel, then we'd love you to get involved. So again, like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Uh, we will, of course, be posting lots of content on our socials. And uh, of course, Instagram is is our main place to post. We normally post um, every day if we can, or every other day. And uh, we just passed um, two and a half thousand followers on um, Instagram as well. So thank you to all of you who've been uh, helping us on on that channel. So uh, yeah, we're looking forward to getting back out there, getting back on a plane, and um, you know, seeing a bit of the world again. And um, our esters are all sorted, aren't they? Done. Good. Yeah. Passports are all here and Done. ready to go. Um, um, all we've got to do now is just rearrange, not rearrange, just arrange our uh, testing um, because we're, we're at the moment, we're still waiting to hear whether or not there's going to be an announcement yeah. about testing. So yeah. uh, we'll just kind of um, hold back and see what happens. But we should have enough time before we actually go to get all of that sorted and uh, ready. Yeah. But uh, we look forward to sharing our next uh, set of journeys with you. And hopefully you'll be along with us for the ride. So thanks very much. Thank you so much for tuning in uh, and stay tuned for all of our travels that are coming up and we can't wait to share them with you. And we'll see you very soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye.